Hey guys, my name is uh, Solomon Jagwe. I am back with a brand new tutorial. Uh, this time I'm here to talk about uh, Octane Render Engine, the GPU render engine from Otoy. Uh, I'm using Octane 4.0 and I'm going to talk about my two favorite features in this new version of uh, Octane. And uh, what you see here is a, a model of uh, Gypsy Danger from Pacific Realm. Uh, this particular model was provided by Warner Brothers. And what is really cool, let me uh, resize this little window right here and rotate just so you get an idea of what uh, the model looks like. Okay, so what I'm going to share with you is about first of all, one is denoising, and the other feature is uh, the subdivision like dynamic subdivision so that you're not really using uh, uh, you're not increasing geometry of your model but letting the render engine subdivide the model during render time and it saves a lot of uh, memory <laughs> and of course it gives you better results without having to sacrifice the the viewport you know uh, playback speed and all that right so what you see right now um, I'll use this as a, an example is the the head right so I'm gonna zoom in so the feature by the way is found under let me close that so I can show you exactly where it's found so any object that you have in the scene right if you right click on it you're able to go to octane properties and under there you have the option to increase the subdivision level right and I've turned on the uh, the statistics in the viewport so you can see whatever is selected so this is 724 polys for the head right uh, let me slide this over a little bit so we're gonna zoom in real close uh, let me bring up my camera uh, let's bring really really close so around there okay and as you can see there's a pixelation around you know the the helmet of uh, the Jaeger, right? And if I rotate the camera, uh, you can see what I mean. So there are some jagged edges here. For, so if you want like a really close-up shot of the <laughs> the Jaeger, you're gonna see some artifacts here and there, right? And so what Octane offers is a, this really neat feature called subdivision level. So watch what happens. I'm gonna. It's right now it's zero. I'm gonna type in one watch what happens boom you get a very nice subdivision of the helmet and this is really cool and the viewport is not suffering at all because all this is happening on the graphics card and using your GPU memory and that's what's really cool so you can do this for the entire body it doesn't have to be just one part but look how nice that is right compared to if it were just zero right so you get a jaggedness and so if I zoom out and pick another part of the body so we're gonna go to the actual body itself so we can see if we can improve on that so now there are some parts that you may want to retain some you know like if you had edge loops you might be able to retain this like point right now but if I add subdivision to the body just by itself right now it's on zero and I put one on it so it's gonna w watch what happens to that point right there so there on your model that's something to watch out for is that make sure you have edge loops that are gonna support the subdivision level so that you don't lose that uh, the, the definition of your model so that's something to, to really look out for if you're gonna use this feature and I'm glad actually that messes it up so that you can see the benefits of where to use it to know where not to use it so I'll just leave it at that but for now if I really needed just uh, like a a wide angle shot of the of the uh, the Jaeger all I gotta do is just uh, you know zoom out and I don't have to add subdivision right but if I need to do like a, a close-up shot if I create like another camera uh, so I could select this camera and just duplicate it and clone it and then I'm able to go in real close to this this uh, particular uh, point of the model and then before I render out the animation I just enable the subdivision 
So for this right here, make sure the helmet is the one that's selected. Let's, this is the head for example. Uh, so we put one. Boom. So this is that image that now. Watch out for the <laughs> UVs. Again, this was this model was intended to be a low poly model, but it serves the purpose of showing what, how to use it when you're rendering like close-up shots and how to use dynamic rendering for that. Okay, the next feature is denoiser. And so right now it's taking about, it's cause it says for at 2000 samples, it's gonna take about, uh, about maybe 56, 58 uh, seconds. Okay, so if I reach a point where I'm like, okay, at 587, I am happy with the way the, the model looks, right? And I'll go over like here, and I'm like, okay, at this point, at around 50, let's say about 139, I'm happy with it, right? The way the quality of the uh, render looks. So I can set it to exactly 150, 139, and stop there, but use denoiser to speed it up. So I'll go over here to my kernel, scroll up, change it from, from 2000. So you're moving from... 58 to a minute 58 seconds to a minute yeah uh, so let's put in 150 and let's rotate the camera again to see how long this is going to take so at 150 samples it takes five seconds to render right but you can see a little bit of noise here and there so what you can do to improve this render this this render the this particular frame is uh go to the camera in, uh, in the octane settings and turn on denoiser up here, enable denoising. So check that. And the denoiser uh, option is gonna show up here next to the samples. After 150 samples, it's gonna kick in. And let's wait and see if there's a difference. So one thing you have to do so it has kicked in and took about seven seconds. So from five seconds to seven seconds. So denoising is taking about seven, you know, two seconds for a total of seven seconds. So what I do, right? Uh, right now I have all my devices working uh, to help the denoising. So if you have two graphics cards, three graphics cards, uh, GPU cards, make sure you enable them to help you speed it up. That's why my, mine is able to do in two seconds. So if I turn off two of these right and apply and then move the camera just a little bit let's see how long this time it takes so without those two graphics card i'm just using the 1070 right now which has about eight gigabytes of ram so it took eight seconds seven seconds to finish and at 150 so that was pretty cool right so you can improve it again right now my two cards the 640 and 780 are not as powerful as a, a GTX 10, 1070. So the, the stronger or the more powerful the graphics card, the faster it is gonna work for the denoising. But make sure that you, you uh, take advantage of any cards. And the denoising is actually, it's it works on some cards and it doesn't work on others. So the reason why when I do this and you don't see a difference, it could be that uh, the 640s, your technology is outdated. But the 1070 is a newer technology, so it employ it may, takes advantage of that, so you're able to see that. But I always turn this on to help just a tiny bit <laughs> every now and then. So we'll uh, refresh, re-render. Let's move the camera just a tiny bit. Let's see how long it takes. So seven seconds is pretty good. So we went from 58 seconds, 58 seconds to a minute to seven seconds and the render. Right now, what you see is actually not the final result because this is just the beauty pass. But if you drop down and you switch to the denoised beauty, there it is. So you can see how it's cleaned up all the noise. So that is an acceptable render at seven seconds. So two of my favorite features, the subdivision right here, level, under the Octane, o Octane Object Properties, and in the Octane Properties, under Camera, is uh, 
the denoiser and what I also do is actually I change the hard, hard pixel removal to 0.1 that gives you better results also so make sure you do that when you enable denoising what you saw there for a second when I moved the camera and it looked like the, there was no lighting that's because what you're looking is the denoise beauty pass waiting for the denoising to kick in and you see it after once it gets to 150 and boom so the denoise has been has kicked in so again don't forget to subscribe guys and if you have any comments put put them in the video in the comment section below uh, feel free to ask questions thank you so much bye bye